A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today we will talk about uh, inline styles and how to use inline styles in Adobe Dreamweaver CS5. We will also see how to convert inline styles to internal styles and then converting these internal styles to external style sheet. Okay. So uh, before I actually uh, start uh, exploring uh, or explaining things in Dreamweaver CS5 rather CS5.5 let me show you a slideshow okay so guys uh, what you have in front of you is an example of internal styles now internal styles are always contained in the head of your web page the head tags the opening and closing head tags all right uh, then you have the opening and closing style tags and embedded in between is the style sheet here you can see that uh, the element h1 has a specific color a specific uh, font weight all right so is the case with the parrot tag now when it comes to the external style sheets in this example you can see that we have an external style sheet called uh, style sheet dot css and using the href attribute it's connected and uh, this uh, is again within the opening and closing head tags of your web page all right and in the end we have the inline styles all right the style guys as you can see is within the same line or within it's in the opening para tag in this example so uh, which is imparting the color red to the paragraph all right so what we'll do is now we'll uh, start working with dreamweaver and let's see how we can work with inline styles in dreamweaver okay guys i already have dreamweaver open in front of uh, you guys and i have one single line which is actually uh, an h3 uh, element or an h3 tag all right what we'll do is uh, we will first select or highlight this much or this bit where it says inline styles and we will impart an inline style to this specific uh, these uh, two words rather inline and styles alright so guys what you need to do is you might be in the HTML uh, section okay you need to click on this CSS button okay then different uh, options will be available to you in the properties inspector let's say for example these two words inline styles I want to give a different color and so what I'll do is the moment I click on this uh, swatch to select a different color let's say the color pound sign 900 Dreamweaver will display a a box a, a pop-up box will appear which will then ask me to define a class okay but then again we are not going to work with the classes we are we are we have set ourselves to work with inline style so I'll cancel it all right what I'll do is in the targeted rule uh, drop-down options I'll select new inline style now this time if I were to select the same color which is the pound sign 900 you'll see that uh, the color has actually changed if and if I were to look inside the code area or the code view uh, you can see that the span style color is equal to pound sign 900 so basically it's created an opening and a closing span style uh, span tags and uh, then you have uh, the style attribute which then has which is telling that the color property should be a pound sign 900 so that is the way uh, you create an inline style let's say I also want to make it bold and italic which is fine but what if I want to uh, also have an underline in which case uh, what I'll need to do is I'll need to click on this uh, button which says edit rule okay I already have the color set out here which is a pound sign 900 already ha have the weight set and what I can do is I can set the text decoration to an underline okay 
So for extra options that are not available in the properties inspector, you're supposed to click on this edit rule button and you'll get the extra options. I'll say okay. All right. Let's have a good look in the code area, guys. Guys, if you're new to Dreamweaver and um, you're starting off uh, with Dreamweaver and you're not so much uh, familiar with HTML CSS, then it's a very good idea to to keep looking at the code area and see what are the changes uh, that happen uh, as and when you make changes to the design area. Design area is this area on the right hand side and this is the code area guys. So we see that we have an opening span tag, we have this styles attribute, we have the text decoration at underline, the color red pound sign 900, the, the font weight bold, the font style italic and then we have the closing uh, uh, span style and the opening and the closing span uh, span tag I'm sorry uh, have these two words in line styles in between them okay now guys I, I, I told you initially that I would want to convert let's say uh, I, I wish to convert this inline style to a class and um, I want to pass it into the header of uh, my uh, web page okay I want to pass it between the head section so basically what if I try and convert this inline style to uh, an internal style how do I do that just in case I need to do it sometime how do I do that it's very simple guys all you need to do is make sure that you right click anywhere in the opening uh, span style alright you have this option which says uh, CSS styles and then you need to go and uh, select convert inline CSS to rule okay then uh, it'll ask you for a new rule name I'll say hmm, my rule all right and also select the option which says the head of the document although guys I could have also created this rule in a new in a you know in a style sheet that was already present but since I don't have uh, an external sh uh, style sheet already present I'm, I'm, I'm taking this rule into the head of the the uh, the HTML code okay and basically converting an inline style to an internal style alright I'm gonna say okay alright guys uh, you should notice that although we have the opening and the closing span styles still there but we have a class out here now okay which is my rule and this my rule is then defined as an internal style in the head of the section here now isn't that amazing guys okay so basically an inline style has now been converted to an internal style amazing now uh, let's see what if I want to convert this internal style and take it outside my document to an external style sheet now that isn't uh, too difficult either guys all you need to do is uh, let me click anywhere in the rule let's say my rule uh, and uh, let's say move CSS rules okay and all you need to do is you need to select the option which says a new style sheet or you can even choose uh, move rule to a style sheet if you already have a style sheet present but since we don't have one present I'm gonna select the option a new style sheet and then say OK and uh, it'll ask me for the name of the style sheet let's say my style sheet and then I'm gonna say OK or save rather alright so guys uh, notice the way the code has changed in the uh, code view right and also if I take you inside my local site folder we have uh, my style sheet external sh style sheet created which is then linked to learning inline styles HTML file that I'm working on right now Alright, and uh, as you, if I go to the live view, guys, you can see that uh, nothing has changed. Whether we were using inline styles, whether we were using internal styles, or uh, we were using uh, an external style sheet. So, guys, what we have learned in this uh, tutorial is how to work with inline styles. We, we also seen how to convert inline styles to mm, internal styles, and then uh, convert further the internal styles to an external style sheet okay guys i hope uh, this uh, tutorial helped you okay i'll see you next time uh, with yet another dream weaver uh, cs 5.5 tutorial or it could be flash with action step 3 you have a good day bye bye
Peace.